solve one problem on heat transfer through composite cylinder by using electrical analogy method we will read the given question hot air at temperature of 60 degree celsius is flowing through a steel pipe of 10 cm diameter the pipe is covered with two layers of different insulating materials of thickness 5 cm and 3 cm and their corresponding thermal conductivities are 0.23 watt per meter kelvin and 0.37 watt per meter kelvin the inside and outside heat transfer coefficients are 58 watt per meter square kelvin and 12 watt per meter square kelvin the ambient temperature is 25 degree celsius find the rate of heat loss from 50 meter length of the pipe neglect the resistance of steel pipe also find temperature at inner and outer surface let us understand given data with the help of diagram if we observe the question it is given that the steel pipe is covered with two layers of insulation whose thickness as well as thermal conductivity is given it is given that hot air temperature is 60 degree celsius and which is flowing inside the steel pipe now here we have to draw circular cross section of the steel pipe so this is the circular cross section of steel pipe which is having radius r1 now inside this steel pipe hot air temperature that is we will consider the suffix 1 t1 is given so this is the temperature of fluid so we will say that t1 is equal to 60 degree celsius now inside convective heat transfer coefficient is given 58 watt per meter square kelvin so we will say that this is the value of h1 now steel pipe diameter is given but we have to find out here radius so it is 10 cm that is radius is equal to 5 cm so r1 is equal to we have to take the standard unit that is meter 0.05 meter now first layer insulation thickness is given so this steel pipe is covered with first layer of insulation which is having radius from the center of this circle now how to find out this r2 so if we observe this diagram r1 plus thickness of this first layer so r1 is 0.05 and thickness is 5 cm that is 0.05 meter so r2 is equal to 0.05 plus 0.05 that is 0.1 meter now second layer thickness is given so this is the second layer and which is having radius r3 so how to find out so if we observe this r2 plus second layer thickness that is equal to r3 so it is 3 cm that is 0.03 meter so r3 is equal to 0.1 plus 0.03 that is 0.13 meter so all these values are calculated now for this first first layer and second layer conductivity is given so for this first layer we will consider conductivity is k1 and so for the second layer we will consider conductivity is k2 and that is also mentioned in the question now ambient temperature is given so this outside or second layer is covered with ambient air and which is having temperature 25 degree celsius so we'll consider this temperature t2 is equal to 25 degree celsius and length of pipe that is l is equal to 50 meter now we will draw here the electrical analogous circuit so for that we have to find out the resistance we have to first understand how the heat transfer process is taking place for this whole system we will first consider what is the direction of heat flow we will consider here the direction of heat flow from the center of the pipe towards the outside direction so i will show here the direction of q so we can select any direction so this is our assumption that is q is from center towards the outside 
Now how the heat transfer process is taking place? So hot air temperature is inside the steel pipe and here the convection heat transfer is taking place for, from this hot air towards the steel pipe. So here the convective heat transfer resistance is there. So we will say this resistance is R1. Now when the heat is transferred to the steel pipe again this heat from steel pipe to the first layer of insulation is getting transferred. But here the conduction process is taking place because this is having some material that is insulation material. So we will consider the resistance for the conduction heat transfer that is R2. Then from this first layer the heat is transferred to the second layer. Again there is the conduction process. So we will say resistance R3 is for the conduction heat transfer process. And now from this second layer of insulation the heat is transferred to the ambient temperature, ambient air. So here this is the fluid. Air is nothing but fluid. So we have to take the convective heat transfer process and we have to write for the resistance for convective heat transfer that is R4. Now all this heat is getting transferred one after the other from the center towards the outside. So we can say that R1, R2, R3, R4 in series. Now in between which temperatures or end temperatures this process of heat transfer is taking place. So here the heat is transferred from inside towards the outside. So initial temperature is T1 and final temperature is T2. So we have to take the temperature difference T1 minus T2. So we will draw here the electrical analog circuit. So temperature difference T1 minus T2 and this is R1, R2, R3 and R4. So all these resistances are in series. Now we will calculate resistance R1, R2, R3 and R4. Now this resistance R1 is for the convective heat transfer process. So R1 is equal to H1 by A1. So A1 is the area of the steel pipe because this uh, hot air is in contact with this area of the steel pipe. So we have to take here let's say A1. So what is this uh, value? So 1 divided by H1 is 58 and A1 that is for this cylinder we have to take area that is 2 pi R1 that is perimeter multiplied by length that is 2 pi R1 into L. So when we put value we will get 0 0.001097 Kelvin by watt. Now R2 is equal to now this resistance R2 is for the conduction heat transfer process. So for the conduction process we have to use this formula. Now if we observe the conduction is taking place in between this first layer. So this first layer of insulation is in between R2 and R1. So we have to take ln R2 by R1 divided by 2 pi L K1 because K1 is the conductivity for this first layer of insulation. So we will put the value. Now this ln term is directly available in the calculator. So we have to take ln in the bracket 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.05 and bracket complete. Then you will get the answer. So ln inside the bracket 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.05 bracket complete. You will get 0 0.693. And divided by 2 pi into 15 to 0 0.23 which is equal to 0 0.009592 Kelvin by watt. Now in the same way we have to calculate the resistance R3. So R3 is in between the radius R3 and R2. So we have to take ln R3 by R2 divided by 2 pi L K2. So when we put value we will get the answer 0 0.002256 Kelvin by watt. Now for, for this second layer I, we will consider here area A2 and here we will consider area A3. Now we will cal for, calculate the resistance R4. Now this is the ambient air which is in contact with this outside circular layer. So we have to find out what is the area. So this area is nothing but A3 for this outside air and we have to refer here radius R3. 
so h one divided by h two a three so h two value is given and a three that is two pi r three l so when we put value we will get the answer zero point zero zero two zero four now this all the resistances are in series so summation of r is equal to we have to add all these answers then we will get zero point zero one four nine eight five kelvin by watt now we will calculate the rate of heat loss from the pipe if we observe this whole heat transfer process is taking place in between temperature t1 and t2 so we have to take q is equal to this temperature difference divided by summation of r that is t1 minus t2 that is 60 minus 25 divided by 0.014985 therefore q is equal to 2335.66 watt now we will move for the first second question that is temperature at inner surface so what is the temperature at the inside surface so if we observe here is the fluid and this fluid is in contact with the steel pipe and this is the temperature of this steel pipe that is the surface of steel pipe we will consider this temperature ti so how to find out this ti now when the heat is transferred from this fluid that is the hot air towards the steel pipe then there is a resistance r1 that is present for the convective heat transfer so we know that q is equal to temperature difference divided by resistance now this temperature difference we have to take in between t1 and ti so we have to consider only resistance r1 now which temperature we have to take first so direction of q is from center towards the outside direction so we have to consider the first temperature is t1 so t1 minus ti divided by r so we will consider t1 minus ti divided by r1 and value of q is 2335.66 watt so when we put value then we will get ti is equal to 57.4 degree celsius now in the same way we have to calculate the temperature of outer surface so this is the temperature that is this is the outer surface that is for the second layer of insulation so we will consider this temperature is to now this surface is in contact with the ambient air which is having temperature t2 now when the heat is transferred from this surface towards the ambient air then there is the convective heat transfer process is taking place so we have to refer here the resistance r4 and we have to take the temperature difference now which temperature we have to take first in between to and t2 now direction of the heat flow is towards the outside direction so initial temperature is to and final temperature is t2 so we will consider here q is equal to to by t2 divided by r4 so when we put value then we will get to 29.76 degree celsius